Okay, today we are going to do lesson 10 and unit 2 in advanced solving equations and variables on both sides. The homework that goes along with this is page 17 in your packet. This paper is attached to the website. Print this out if you're at home and do it now or press pause. And then I'm going to go over it. So press pause and do it. All right. This problem says, Miss Lynn asked her class to find an expression that is equivalent to this expression. One step in each of the following students are stuck and then correct. Find and explain the error and write your own expression equivalent to what is given. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm a teacher. And when you're checking somebody else's work, it is super important to do the work your per yourself first. So you know what you should have. So I would do this problem and make myself a key. Well, the first thing you need to do here is distribute the negative 3. So we're going to bring down the 7. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 3 times positive 2x is positive 6x. Bring down the minus 10. Now, we'll combine like terms. So I don't have anything to add to this 6x. So I'm just going to have 6x. 7 minus 12 minus 10. Well, 7 minus 12 is going to be negative 5. Negative 5 minus 10 is negative 15. So you should end up with, oh, you know what? I copied the problem off. This is an x. This is an x. There's a negative 10x there. So when I combine like terms, x minus 10x is negative 4x, and 7 minus 12 is negative 5. Okay. So that's what we should end up with. Let's see where this person went wrong. Well, take a look at what John did. Look what my first step is, distributing. Look what his first step was. He combined like terms here. There's the mistake. This person combine like terms in parentheses first. 4 minus 2x you can't do. So there's the mistake. This person. They distributed first. But negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 3 times negative 2 should be positive 6x. So there's her mistake. Now, you should be in page 16 in your note packet. We are going to solve equations today with variables on both sides. This is the first time we've seen equations like this. We are going to follow all the steps that we did in the other equations. So we're going to look at the first one. 4x plus 10 equals 5x plus 5. Or, I'm sorry, 25 plus 5x. Our first step in solving equations is to simplify both sides. These are simple by. And then you need to look at this and say, oh boy, there is a variable on both sides. So, I recommend that after you simplify both sides, you get all the variables together. So, I'm going to move this 4x over to the right. I'm going to, how do I move that 4x over there? I subtract 4x from both sides. Make sure you write minus 4x. <coughs> 4x minus 4x is 0. So on this side, I'm left with 10 equals 25. 5x minus 4x is just 1x, so plus x. Now, I have my variables all gathered. I'm going to solve by subtracting 25 from both sides. So I have 10 minus 25 is negative 15 equals x. Now, I'm going to do that same exact problem a different way to prove to you and it does not matter which side you move the variable to. Now, I chose originally to move the 4x over to the right because I like to keep my variable positive. You could also do this by subtracting 5x from both sides and moving all the variables over to the left. 
Four x minus five x is negative x, so negative one x plus ten equals on this side I'm going to do twenty-five. Now that looks different. Let's see what's going to happen. Subtract ten from both sides, and you have negative x equals fifteen. Now we're not done. We don't want to solve for negative x. We want to solve for x. So I need this is a negative one. So I need to divide both sides by negative one, and I get x is negative fifteen. So no matter how you move the variable, you end up with the same answer. It just might take you a little bit longer. And again, I like to move the variable to keep the, the variable positive. But you don't need to do that. You can say, I like to move it to the left or I like to move it to the right. All right, example two. Here things get a little bit more complicated. All right, so we need to simplify both sides before I move anything. So on this left side, I'm going to distribute my 3. 3 times 2x is 6x. Positive 3 times positive 6 is positive 18. Equals. On this side, I can combine my terms. Negative 2x plus 6x is 4x plus 10. So all I've done so far is simplified both sides. And you always need to do that first. Now, I recognize that I have variables on both sides. So I need to either move this 4x over to the left or move the 6x over to the right. I'm going to choose to move my 4x. This is positive 4x, so the opposite is negative 4x or minus 4x. Look how I'm lining them up. 6x minus 4x is 2x. Bring down the plus 18 equals 4x minus 4x is 0. I'm left with 10. Subtract 18 from both sides. So now I'm at a two-step equation, and I get 2x is negative 8. Divide both sides by 2. X is negative 4. Alright. We're going to skip these because it's the same thing. I want to go to this word drop, example 5. It says, Joe weighs 102 pounds. Together, he and his sister weigh 10 pounds more than 3 times the weight of the sister. What is the weight of Joe's sister? Now, that's confusing. Remember, always define your variable. What are we looking for? Joe's sister's weight. So let's let x equal the sister's weight. And we're going to write here, Joe weighs 102. To organize ourselves. So Joe weighs 102 and his sister is x. We don't know. It says, Together, he and his sister weigh 10 pounds more than three times the weight of his sister. Okay, so what does together mean? Well, together means we're going to add them. So the sister plus Joe. If they weigh 10 pounds more than three times the weight of the sister, well, what's three times the weight of the sister? Three x. Ten pounds more would be plus ten. So together, here they are together. They weigh the same as ten times ten pounds more than three times the sister. There's our equation. But again, this would be nearly impossible if you don't set up your variables or what you don't know. So can I simplify it all? No. So let's move this three x over here. I'm going to do this. This way. Subtract 3x from both sides. x minus 3x is negative 2x plus 102 equals 10. To solve this, subtract 102 from both sides. So I'm going to have negative 2x equals negative 92. Divide both sides by negative 2. x is 42. 